Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Originally, I had not planned to have a video. Wait, did I say that correctly? Originally, I had planned not to have a video posted today because I am away for the Memorial Day weekend, but there was a little bit of a schedule change in the middle of last week. So the video I was going to post last Wednesday, I'm filming and posting while I'm away. So I talked about this in last Monday's kitten chat how I have a few kits in my stash that I just never unboxed with you guys and I've kind of been keep keeping them aside for when I need maybe a filler video when I'm away and I don't want to try to pre-record like a whip and chat it's easy to pre-record a unboxing an unboxing because then I can just have it sitting there until I need it so that's what we're going to do for today's video just because I didn't want to leave you guys without one. So let's go ahead and unbox this kit from my stash. Now, I've had this one for a bit. I wish I could remember exactly when I ordered it, but I don't recall. I think it was a semi-new release a little while ago. And by a little while, I mean at some point in 2023. This one has been sitting for a bit. Um, I didn't think I was ever going to unbox it. That's why the plastic is off, but... Let's take a look. So the kit in question is Sea Queen by Sarah Mustafa. This is a round drill, 50.7 centimeters by 63.9 centimeters. I have not looked at this canvas, so I'm very excited to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and pull everything out. Have I looked at this canvas? Now I'm second guessing everything. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I just took a quick look at my channel and it's definitely not on there. So I must have, I just, I never put diamond paintings back in the clear pouch and this has not been opened before. So I see a piece of cat hair here and I was like, oh, well, oh, maybe it's on the outside. It's on the outside. <laughs> So I must have taken this out at some point and then just decided not to film. Who knows? Doesn't matter. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> this is so dramatic. I knew I had never looked at it before. Okay, so we have our little sticker. We have a toolkit with some purple flower washi tape. We have a cute little yellow flower cover minder. We have some pink heart-shaped wax. We have a four placer and a seven placer. Some clear plastic baggies. And then we have one of the trays with the stopper. I never know, I guess it's supposed to go that way. Who knows? We have a stopper. Uh, and then, we have the diamond painting. Now the true test for this one will be if the sticker sheet is still in here, then I have definitely never looked at this one, <laughs> but this clear plastic part is still sealed. So, and also I'm way too lazy when I, once I open a kit, like once I unbox it with you guys, it never makes its way back into that clear plastic. <laughs> uh, sh what do you call it? Sleeve? Let's see. Ooh, this one is going to be so pretty. Yeah, all right, the sticker sheet is still in there. So I have definitely <laughs> never looked at this one. I feel like for a minute there, I felt like I was losing my mind. All right, so we have our drills. We have the instruction manual. There's also a coupon in there. I think there used to be, yes. And then we have our sticker sheet. So here's a better view of the artwork. This is so beautiful. I think there's a, yeah, there's a crystal in this one, which is going to be really, really pretty. So it looks like we have just one AB and one crystal. I wonder when this kit came out. You know what? I have my iPad, so why don't we take a look here? Um, purchases. Uh, I'm just going to look in the shop app to see when I ordered it. Um, oh boy. 
Okay, I ordered this kit on July 28th, 2023, and I never unboxed it for you guys. Yikes. Uh, it looks like it is currently available and in stock um, at the time of filming, which is exciting. That's crazy. I didn't think it had been that long. All right, so I'm going to put our sticker sheet off to the side. We have 45 colors. And then again, we have just the one AB and the one crystal. And I can see both of them in the package already. And I am very excited about that. Oh, she is so pretty. I'm going to show you guys upright and then I will turn it sideways. But this is a piece by Sarah Mustafa, like I mentioned. And I absolutely adore her artwork. This year I completed Springtime Blossoms, I think is what the name of it was. And I absolutely loved working on that kit. I love the finish. It was just, uh, it's my favorite kit of the year so far. Uh, if you watched my three favorite kits of the year so far, you would have seen that. Um, but it just made me fall in love with her artwork all over again. I just think that she does the most adorable faces and they're just so cute. I have a few of her uh, pieces in my stash and I'm trying to not want to work on them all at once because after working on Springtime Blossoms, I'm just like, let me do all of the Sarah Mustafas. So anyway, here is the top half of the painting. Actually, it was more than half. And then here is the bottom. Her dress is so beautiful. I will turn it sideways here just so that I can talk to you guys about the drills and everything. But oh, look at how beautiful she is. Okay, let me pull out the special drills. Grab a pair of scissors. So we have a gray AB. Which is one of my favorites, believe it or not. And then we have a clear crystal. As far as the rest of the color palette, I'll show you guys. Um, obviously, we have some white, a really pretty yellow. Um, lots of grays. We have a couple of blues, some pinky purple colors, um, browns, and then what I'm going to assume is some skin tone colors. We have some like lighter shades of brown here. Uh, and I do think that she is fairly, I don't want to say dark skinned, but I think she has a darker skin tone just from the picture itself. Uh, let's take a look at these special drills. So the first one is 139 AB, which is so pretty. This is super sparkly. I love the gray ABs. I know that not everybody does, but I don't know. I think that the AB coating looks so cool over the, the gray tones. So this is symbol number one on the canvas and... Let's see. I think it's going to be primarily in her dress. It looks like it's going to provide some of the shading of her dress. So we can see it here on her sleeve. And then there's also some going down the bodice and then along the bottom here. So it's a pretty decent amount. I think that's going to be really pretty. Let me look. Yeah, I think it's going to provide, like, if you can see some of these darker grays that are kind of swirling around here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Uh, I think that's where the AB is going to be, and that's going to be super, super pretty. And then we have the clear crystal, which is L5200, and that is the forward slash symbol, and that is all throughout the headpiece here. She has like, I don't really know exactly what it is, but she has like some sparkles over her head here. 
So that is all the crystal. And then it also comes down the front of her dress, which is going to be really beautiful. And also her earring. I do think that this kit could use a little bit more <laughs> sparkle. I'm thinking that I potentially would add 3865 in either Fairy Dust or AB. I don't quite know which one I would go for, but the crystal and then 3865 are kind of like right around each other. And I think that that extra texture of another special special drill would look really cool so i'm leaning kind of towards a 3865 fairy dust drill i just think that the combination of the ab with the crystal and then add in a fairy dust i think it would give it a lot of dimension so when i get to this one i might have to make that happen um, there is a bunch of the 3865 symbol around here in the background i don't think i would replace all of it with the fairy dust i think i would just limit it to around where the ab is so throughout her dress um in the headpiece up here and then down around the bottom of her dress i think that that would look really neat actually i think i think this is supposed to give the illusion of her tail i'm just kind of looking at the artwork here and it kind of looks like it would sweep around in front of her maybe it is called sea queen so i'm assuming that she's a mermaid um that just makes sense to me <laughs> but i do think that that potential addition of that fairy dust drill could be really really pretty otherwise i love this kit i think she's adorable here's another uh look at her as the original artwork so beautiful the faces that sarah mustafa does are just so beautiful and I cannot wait to work on this one. Like I said, I have a few of hers in my stash and I'm trying to be like, when can I work? <laughs> Do you guys remember when I did one Mandy Manzano a month back in, <sighs> did I do that in 2022 or 2023? I think it was 2023. Was it? I think it was. No, it was 2022. Do you guys remember when I did that? I'm, I have like, this feeling that I need to collect a few more Sarah Mustafas and then I need to do a Sarah Mustafa a month, maybe in 2025. We'll see. Um, but that is today's unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a little bit of a different video for a Monday, but I wanted to make sure that I had something up for you guys. Um, I hope everybody in the States that is celebrating Memorial Day, has a long weekend, all of that fun stuff, is having a nice, safe, fun weekend um yeah i hope that everybody enjoyed today's video again thank you guys so much for watching and i will i should be back with you guys on wednesday for a whip and chat so normally we do that on monday but since i'm away i'm hoping i'll be able to get home and film that for you guys on wednesday hopefully i will see you guys then thanks again for watching bye